Hi, my name is John Schneider. I'm the owner of hdrental.com and we rent the Vinton Osprey Elite pedestals. We can safely ship these pedestals anywhere in the continental United States and make sure they arrive at your location on time and in perfect working order. Today we want to show you two things. First, a new shipping case we have designed for the Vinton Osprey Elite pedestals. And second, how to easily assemble and disassemble these pedestals. Be assured that Vinton has designed the Osprey pedestals to be easily disassembled and reassembled by the end user, as no special tools or skills are needed to perform this task. As you can see, the shipping case is extremely small. It's only 31 inches wide, 34 inches long, and 23 inches high. Yet, it can hold not only the entire pedestal, but a large fluid head, a six inch riser, removable casters, plus other accessories. It's 35% cheaper to ship than our larger row packs. Also, if you're transporting it in one of your vehicles, it takes up less space. As you can see, the shipping case has large skids attached to the bottom, as skids are necessary when you're shipping with a freight company like SOS Global. Skids allow safe and easy handling for forklifts and pallet jacks. When fully loaded, the case can weigh up to 160 pounds. Most freight forwarding companies, for obvious reasons, don't allow shipping cases to be shipped with wheels attached. However, once the case arrives at the venue, it may need to travel long distances through hallways and freight elevators to get to its final destination. We have included snap-fit removable casters stored inside the case. These casters are easily attached to the bottom of the case once it arrives on the loading dock. After attaching the casters, move the case to its final destination before assembling the pedestal. The pedestals can be damaged as they move throughout the venue in their fully assembled state, as they can be hit by other large cases and or forklifts, as they are moved through the venue by hired laborers that don't have your best interest in mind. After the shipping case has arrived on stage, remove the lid and start by removing the dolly section first. Place it right side up on the ground, reach underneath the dolly and depress the locking plungers. Unfold the legs into their fully open position. Notice there are two open positions for the legs. Make sure you put the legs in their widest position. Lock the two wheels so the dolly does not move while you are joining the column. Make sure the crab steering changeover button is in the down position so it is in crab mode. Make sure the rubber strut locks on the dolly are in the unlocked down position. Now release the Velcro strap around the struts. Make sure the tightening lever on the column clamp is pointing up so it doesn't jam into the dolly section when coming down. Securely grip the round top of the column and carefully lift it out of the case. Hold the column above the dolly section, knowing that you have to line up the square telescopic steering tube with the socket on the dolly section. Be aware that the smaller notches in the steering tube need to line up with the small bars inside the socket. You can turn the steering tube by turning the top of the column to match the notches to the small bars as you are guiding the column in. Once the struts or tripod legs and the steering tube are lined up correctly, the column will naturally drop into position. Now test the column by turning it left and right. If it feels smooth and all three wheels are crabbing, you are good to go. If you hear a clicking noise and steering feels like it's slipping, check to make sure that the small notches are correctly lined up with the bars in the socket. Now place the struts over the ball joints and press down until you hear them snap in. Secure the struts to the dolly by stretching the rubber straps up and over the locking ears. Now tighten the clamping lever on the column. Put the steering wheel onto the column and tighten the three screws. You are now ready to operate the ped. Now let me demonstrate how we get the Vinton Osprey Elite pedestal and its accessories safely back into the shipping case. After putting the smaller accessories into the lower part of the case, we are now ready to disassemble the pedestal. The first step, make sure the column lock is in the up position and is engaged to the column's locking hook. Determine via the pressure gauge that there is no more than 50 pounds of pressure in the pedestal. If it is over 50 pounds, lower the pressure via the Schrader valve down to 50 pounds. If you're shipping by air, be sure to release all of the pressure. Do not try to extend or operate the column once all the air has been released. Doing this can cause extreme internal damage. Detach the steering wheel from the pedestal. You should be able to do this by hand. If not, you can use a flathead screwdriver to release the screws. Set the wheel aside for now. It enters the case last. Loosen the locking lever that holds the column to the dolly section. 
pull the flexible rubber locks away and downward, freeing the struts. Now pull the struts out of the ball joints. You are now ready to separate the main column from the dolly section. Prepare the shipping case by opening the top and bottom column locks. Firmly pull the column straight up from the dolly. Once the column is out, rest it back down on the dolly so you can strap the struts down. Carefully place the column into the shipping case. Make sure the square steering tube is facing up and slightly turned to your right. This will allow the column to perfectly fit into its form-fitted space and protect the steering tube. Please put the column directly into the case after detaching it from the dolly. Setting the column on the ground unattended can lead to damage. Collapse the dolly legs by depressing the leg locking plungers and folding the legs downward. Now put the dolly into the case with the middle leg fitting into the smaller cutout. Place the steering wheel on the red cutouts. Make sure the spokes are pointing down. Put the top on and you're ready to ship. We totally understand that arranging logistics for expensive video equipment is typically time consuming, stressful, and complicated. When you rent from us, hdrental.com, we'll take care of all the logistics for you. We guarantee that your pedestals will arrive at your location on time, in perfect working order with all the accessories. If you have any questions, give me a call anytime. And thanks for watching this video.